Hi guys, welcome back to be my first horse life video. And today's video, I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks that help me grind. Now y'all don't know this about me, but I love grinding. Um, I usually have about 300K on me, but today I did a little bit of spending just to show you that I can make that back. But let's go ahead with the first method that always helped me. So first of all, I usually grind for 20 minutes for forageables. Now you're probably thinking forageables. Forageables come in these forms. You got the hay, it either will drop hay, carrots, apples, or sugar cubes. You got these apple crates. And you have these berry bushes. Now I recommend foraging them for around 20 minutes. Okay, but here we are. 20 minutes is not a lot but if you do it for an hour you'll wait make way more profit but it's still profitable for 20 minutes when i usually get done foraging for 20 minutes i usually have around almost 200 apples um a lot of hay um and some sugar cubes now basically i don't buy lassos i get the lassos from the boss fights and I go use those. Lassos are fast for capturing torches, but they're not free. You have to pay for them, which takes away your profit. So if I sold, if I made 144 from a horse, usually gives you 144, and I subtract 80 from that, that's really nothing but a what? Oh, 50 coin profit? That's not profitable for me. I want to make sure I make all that. Now, the top three horses that get me the most money when I'm grinding, they don't take a lot of food, but I would say the Caprines, the horses, and make sure you look out for the winged horses. Yes, the winged horses can give you up to 300. The most I've seen a winged horse give me was 500. Next. Okay. You can do the last haul method. But it's not profitable as much as the forageable method is. Lassos are what? Quicker, faster to catch a horse. But it's not free. As you can tell, it depends on how much you go up. The touring lasso, one heart gain, and that's 40. Scurrying lasso, 60. Wolfing lasso is the highest tier for the regular horses. Rope lasso, bio horse. Now the bio horses don't tend to drop me as much money as the caprines and horses. The equ equus, whatever, don't really drop me money. They drop about the same amount, but they take a lot more food. Unicorns and gargoyles, they're not very profitable for me because if you look at how much their lassos are, and you're only making make what 300 per gar that you capture this is not profitable but basically i'll have around doing the first method that i told you guys 20 to an hour of foraging you'll have around 10k in your wallet that is how confident i am about it because that's what i end up doing but sometimes i am a bit off <laughs> When I go grind, not gonna lie, because I be, I just be going and going like that. But my friends I gave the method to said they were very achievable. They made a lot of money from it. Now, this method is known to people. It's not really a grinding method, let's be honest. Everybody loves the good old market realm. You sell your horses there. Free money, basically. Because people want them colors. But you have to make them colors to give them. Now, my guards sell for around 10k by now. But recently, I've been putting out my failures. And I do not be expecting them to sell. Like, I put them up for like 1k. Just to give people a chance. So they be like, oh, that's pretty. Let's do that. It's mostly my breeding failures that either people didn't want anymore or this just wasn't living up to me to my standards 
but or they're just accidentally <laughs> accidentally bred and i'll just put them up i've had them sell for my normal price 10k i don't put it by now i just put 1k up there and see what happens <laughs> And that's about it. And that's about it, y'all. But I got quiet for a moment. But see you guys in my next video. I just want to put this out there. <laughs>